Uh, it's going to be Debbie with Deanne's Designs. I want to just jump on here real quick. I, I have a little project I've been working on. I thought I'd like to share it and see what you think about it. Um, I'm making a journal right now. And uh, it's uh, Grandma's Diary is what the name of it is. And But this this isn't something that I thought would look kind of cute. Look at this one section of it. And I was thinking about it might be kind of cute to put on here on the, on the front of it. Um, and I wanted to go over it real quick with you. I've been in the process of making some tags. I will show that I'm going to need in here. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I thought, let's go over it. I'll just shoot a quick video with it. Okay, got a flower. We've got um, some vintage material. I've got a buttoned, uh, styled, um, oh, they're little brads. Let's see. Countrycroppers.com uh, is where I got them at. A long time ago, they come in 30 pieces. And they've been kind of fun to use once in a while. So I thought this might be a fun time. As you can see, it's just here on the back. You can either, like if you had this paper this page. I've already sealed this page off. We can get all of this in here. There we go. I've already sealed this page off. So anyway, it'll probably just be able to set right here on this. But if you if I hadn't, I'd have gone ahead and been able to hide the back of the um brad behind this sheet over here. Anyway. You can do it however you wish to do it, of course. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is grab, I use three sheets. I just cut them out. Cut out a circle is what you're going to do. And then I just drew on here my floral shape, which is just petals. It's all, you're just going to try to get some petals on there. That's all you're doing. Doing them with a pencil. Pencils are my friend. So I'm going to take, I'll just take, you take any pair of scissors you want to take. This is Andy, so this is, sure, no, yeah, it says paper. Okay, good. And then once you kind of get your your pages to the circle that you want them to be in, so it will be a little bit better, then you're just going to start, and then you just draw it on. Then you're just going to start cutting it out and you're going to go all the way around here just this uh, and with only a, it's only three sheets of paper so it isn't a difficult cut for all of you that have you know types of arthritis in your uh, joints in your hand joints it really is not a hard cut i wouldn't be doing it if it was a hard cut Hopefully, you will be able to do the same thing. So, here we go. Round dish. And this is, I think they'd even be fun if you wanted to mount them, even as a paper clip attachment. They'd be kind of cute, really, on your book. I don't know, it may do it, may not. Just kind of thinking out loud, I suppose. And once you get around all of your petals being cut, okay, like that, clear this off a little bit because it's tight in here. It gets kind of tight because I get everything out at once and then it's, that's just how I, I flow though. No regrets. This is what it is. So then I'm going to take my ink pad it's uh just stampability it's brown yeah this is brown so that's easy to come by and then i just start kind of stamping on or stamping um darkening my edges as i would think you would want to do i would want to do it on mine and you can see i did it on the other one and uh you know it's really better to do it before or you put it all together uh, but you can do it I did that one um, <laughs> once I got it put together I, thought, I really should have inked 
So, to inking I go. And since you only have three, this really doesn't take very long at all. And then before you know it, you have something really cute and extra to add in <clears throat> to the journal. My goodness, we could possibly have a few more allergies out here. Gracious. And it might be kind of fun, especially if you're just looking for something quick and simple to slip in there. Like you might have a spot even. I sometimes get those. I think, oh, I got this spot. Just since it looks like it needs a little something. And these are kind of, really kind of larger ones. So you could always cut your circles down smaller if you wanted. Or perhaps you just have a, a circle punch. You know, I don't have one. Uh, not not this large anyway. And, um, you know, I don't think I ever really have to have one. I think I'll be okay without it. So, off I go. Now, I don't mind getting a little bit darker on my back ones. Because the top one, I leave it a little bit lighter because the top one I ride on in here and today we're going to write in pencil because I don't know for sure what it, what I wanted to say but if you pretty much know what you want to say then just go for it put it in a black ink I think it'd be pretty this is a linen colored paper already so I didn't have to do anything with the off the guy and everything like that. Let's see as you can see that it's it's changing it up a good bit. Like I say, I try and keep this. I might do my edges a little bit darker, but I try and keep where I got a ride at a little lighter in coloring. My knees will probably flip up, so I prefer them to just be darkened. Now, okay, so then I'm going to take this, move it out of the way. So now we're going to offset these just a little bit, just, you know, where your petals might come through a little bit better. This one's darker. So I'm going to put it to here. And then tighten it up just a bit. You're a little too pointy for me. And then I'll put this one on top. Like as such. So this is kind of where, just like this. You're going to take your bottom one, which I colored darker. And then you're going to have your center one, which... It has a little bit darker too on it. Offset it with the other one. And then we're going to offset the top one. The top one's going to be a little lighter so that we can put our writing on it. Okay. So then I'm going to find center. So I fold these. Make a little mark in here. As you can see. And then I fold it back the opposite way. Opposite sides. Pinch it off in here. Okay, so now you can kind of see this is where my center is going to be at. Um, I'm just going to take, well, I don't want to do that. Let me get my pointy thing. There we go. And with it being center, my center is right here. Then I'm going to take in there. Okay, once you get your center in there, where's my lid? There we go. And then I'm going to take a brad, brad of your choice. I'm going to use this one. You guys use, gosh, I think a copper one would be really pretty too. You know, kind of whatever you want to use in there. Your choice. And what I try to do is find the holes and make sure I get them big enough to start with. 
because I'm about to add a few other things here and you know I don't want to sit and fuss with it all day I just want to get it done because that's just kind of how I am just get it done so then I can move on yes come on little hole and then we're just gonna get my holes in there now we got it now we got it this far so you're gonna see your button or your your brad and then you're gonna have your little petals up here okay so now that I know I've got now this is gonna come back out real momentarily but right now I'm just gonna write on here probably the same thing because I haven't stopped and thought about anything else and what I put on mine is I walk to the garden because this is the garden section in this particular journal I'm putting together to find my soul and count all of my blessings now you may very well find that you need to space it you know or do whatever you need to do with it and um, I may take a time or two, it doesn't matter. Because you want to do if you're doing it in pencil to start with, see that'd be a cute block right there. If I left that in there, I could move. I don't know if I'd like that. And now I'm gonna find out for sure. Um, and then I can put it's just a little bit big. A little bit big bug. So anyway, it's that. So now you've got your words on here. You've got those all printed off. So now I'm going to remove the brad. And then I'm going to use some scraps. On this one here, uh, this is some vintage material. Oh, it's in the 70s, so they call it vintage. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put, let me put some of that. Let me see what this is going to look like, though. If I, if I group, you know, little laces together, let's see what we think about that. It could be fun. Could be fun. Why not? Okay. So then I would have my bed in the center. Which it's, it's small enough. Okay. I'll try it, see what it looks like. I just nip a little triangle out of here, out of my center. It's kind of a small triangle. It's okay, I don't need a big one. I just need a couple more things. Now here, let's see if this will work. Okay, okay. I'm going to try and make my attempt to pop this brad in here. Kind of start seeing if you can put it on the material right in the center. And I hope my fingers are not in your way. You can see what I'm doing. If they are, I apologize. Okay, so we got that into there. And we're going to come back, place it on here, see what we think. See if we're going to like it. 
And then I'll just close that off. Little, I think that could be catching maybe just a little bit. Might be okay with me. Yeah. And then I just start kind of messing with this because I kind of like the petals to be, uh, you know, move, not so flat. I'm curl up a little bit. Do you have what you want to do with it? Of course, that's, that's what I was thinking. Looks better for me. So now what you got, in this case, it's a good size little flower, I suppose. You got a little verse that you can review. And there we go. So now we have this little flower. Here's one with a different piece of material in the center. Made the same way, different piece of material. And as you can see, you, you can, you know, use it for whatever. Maybe you don't want material. Maybe you'd like to have um, like a, a butterfly or something like that in the center. That would be cute too. You know, I don't know. I may put one in there. But um, kind of play with it. Just just see what you think. You know, if you would like something fun like that, and then you should be able to do that. Anyway. Let's see what it looks like in my book. Like I said, you could turn that into a paper clip. I always now I'm going to stab myself if I don't put that on there. It's really going to be painful. And um, turn it into like a little paper clip of some sort to attach onto something or the other. Let's see, what are you doing? I mean, you could add something with the gardens going on in there. Something pretty that you might want to add. It's it's totally up to you guys, of course. Just see what you think. And um, with a little piece of embroidery work, something like that might be fun to put in there with it. Just kind of play along with it. See what you think on, on it. But uh, anyway, I just wanted real quick to share with you what I might be adding in here into my little book and uh, since I finished this journal it's three signatures and uh, I'll be giving a a review on it then and let you see you know what I've been working on and and uh, you know what you might be able to take with it anyway I'll make more tags but I will talk to you guys later thanks a lot for stopping by bye now